Wow. Hey, it's 11 a.m., but I'm leaving at 2, so I have time to have fun with you. What a blast. What a treat this is. <laughs> But I got a shower first. And I got a new, I got something new yesterday. I finally bit the bullet and bought like a big old thing of coconut oil. For my skin, for my face. Just try to make myself glow a bit more. Let's see, the hair right now, oh gosh, people care. Okay. It's like right here, it's growing out nicely. I had to get it cut so many times though in January. So like I'm just waiting for it to come on through. In December, I made a video and I got my hair cut pretty short. A little much shorter than I'm used to at least. The next week, I went in for a fitting for a job that I was gonna work the week following and they cut my sides down and they cut my sideburns up to like right here. The week after that on set, they cut it even shorter on the sides. So the haircut that I got that I paid for, that like that is no part of my head anymore. A shower. <laughs> I really don't know if coconut oil is good for your skin at all, but it feels like, uh, it feels not dry. <clears throat> I have nobody to talk about perfect skin. A couple months ago, I started using Arm & Hammer, and it says, contains Arm & Hammer baking soda and natural plant extracts to absorb and fight odor. The problem with this stuff is that it is a, uh, it, well, you can't really see that, because, ooh, there it is. It's a gel. It makes your underarms wet when you put it on. And so anytime I wanted it to work, I would have to, like, put it on and then wait for a while. I'd have to, like, dry out my underarm just so that I wouldn't have wetness, and the wetness was only caused by my deodorant. So I picked up this stuff yesterday, and it is cool. It's Schmitz. It's, uh, one of those super fancy, no aluminum, no propylene glycol, no artificial fragrances. Cool. This is solid. Like, it's, it's, it's hard. It smells like bergamot and lime. Still do not know what Bergamo is. We gotta get ready though. What time is it now? Uh, 12. 12. Uh, I'm leaving in two hours. Time is on our side. Let's go. Right, that seems like a good place to park. Don't pass me no regular. I'ma turn it down. down. All I blow is loud. All I blow is loud. Whoa. All right. That's the shape. Here we go. Get some Kevin Murphy Night Rider. Oh, by the way, for anybody who's like just stumbling upon this video, I'm an extra for right now. I'm like a, I'm a profession, I'm a full-time background actor in TV show. That's part of the reason I haven't been making a lot of videos actually. I'm not allowed to do a lot of video and camera stuff. It's just not a professional move. It's like you taking a camera to work and shoving it into your coworkers' faces. It's silly. I'm not a maverick. Come on. I'm gonna lock it in with some Tresemme climate protection for all hair types. I thought my generation was the one that was supposed to cool it with a hairspray. I recently got into it. Whoops. I'm the adopted stepchild of the millennials. Can you shave with coconut oil? Update. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Feels kind of good. I hope it glides easily. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. The hairs on my face are definitely shorter, but it didn't It didn't glide super easily. But that's fine. We're going to finish off with some BB cream. There we go. I have weird bones in my face. So like everything that you see that uh, isn't beautiful, it's because of the weird bones in my face. Let's put on some pants. It's all about the conservative business look. I'm gonna start out with these. I'm also gonna bring probably like a charcoal suit with me. And what they request that we do is bring one option already on us, already being worn, and then bring two other things that we think that maybe wardrobe will be into. I'm looking at this purple shirt and also this blue stripey shirt. I'm definitely gonna wear this wool blazer type thingy on top of whatever it is and probably also wear this Old Navy V-neck sweater. Let's get that on, see how it looks. This is the worst part, trying to put on a sweater over a shirt. It, ah, how do I like this? I think it's okay. Oh, okay. Now I like it. So this is the look that I'm going to go to the wardrobe department with and say, hey, you like what I'm doing? And hopefully they say, yeah, we do. A lot. But if they say, no, we hate it, I have to bring in two backup options. I'll bring this guy. This is, it's like a blue and white type of very thin stripe. That with that. Alrighty, there's its second look. And I want to bring in one more, but I don't want to like have to bring in a full suit or anything like that. So I'm just going to bring a second shirt option. I'll bring in this light gray shirt, this blue and green shirt, and this blue stripey shirt. And hopefully, like with all of these things that I have, they will like one of them. Probably this one. All right, I'm gonna have to hang this up where you are. Bye. David, what's your coffee recipe right now? Well, it is a donut shop, great value Walmart brand coffee K-cup, one Splenda, and then top off the rest of this mug with some almond milk. Let me run you through like a quick schedule of what I usually do. Usually I wake up at around 6 a.m. Sometimes earlier into the 4 a.m. I get ready, just like this. I get my clothes together the night before usually. And then I drive to a studio. So Warner Brothers is about like a 12 minute drive in the mornings. Paramount's about a six minute. But I've been everywhere. You know, I've, I've shot in Dallas. Downtown. My first day I ever shot was downtown. I shot in Malibu last week. That was cold. I'm driving up to a parking garage in North Hollywood 
then they're going to shuttle us over somewhere else and probably I don't know I have no clue and that's where it gets weird I don't know what I can show you of these days I don't want like I said I don't want to be the guy that brings a camera and is filming every single piece of an extra experience but also I know that you guys have been pining for me to get back on the camera so here we are and we're done just like that what a lame day not a lot happened I was fortunate to keep my wardrobe on the entire time mostly because everybody else had like full-on suits and they're like let's break this up but it was kind of lame because I, I just didn't do a lot that's fine that that's a lot of the time I went to a room sat down for about five hours went to set for about 45 minutes and then back to that same room for about another hour until they said bye bye but it could totally be worse like yesterday I worked part of the day and was not used on set at all and then there are days where I am used literally all day and I never get a break and those are cool too those are my favorite actually those are the best they fly by it's the same as working at like a grocery store whenever everybody is in there and things are going smoothly and you feel like you're really part of their day awesome it time flies but when things are like slow that's fine you just kick back in the new york times crossword and hang out for like seven eight hours learn a whole lot and then get really mad at yourself whenever friday rolls around and you realize that you're not really as good as you thought you were at the crossword on monday when it was a little bit easier <laughs> off topic totally off topic but that time on set was a lot of fun because it's one of my favorite shows on tv ever so even being able to be around that kind of environment for just 45 minutes out of the day and get paid for the whole day by the way i really couldn't ask for a whole lot more right now maybe that's a problem maybe i should be asking for so much more but i'm comfortable right now with this kind of easy-ish living and I know that in the future that's gonna change I'm gonna be like no I need more than this provincial line and when that day comes I will change but why try to force something that I'm not already feeling teachable moment right there don't like like if you feel something if you've learned a lesson let other people learn that lesson too I know it's hard to say hey uh, I don't want you to have to go through the same things that I have and maybe they never will but if they do like let them learn from that let's go no. And that's pretty much my life right now. I'm gonna wake up in about six hours and do the exact same thing tomorrow. Maybe longer, maybe shorter, maybe the exact same amount of time. I have no clue. I'll start out at a high school graduation playing a family member, going to a graduation. Then I'll play a Yale college student. So I pretty much bring the exact same clothes that I brought today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and tell me that you liked it so that I keep making videos. If you hated it, don't tell me. I can't take criticism too well. Click the like button on the video itself. Subscribe to the channel for more when I make more. It'll be soon, don't worry. Let's kick it in the comments and also on my Instagram stories whenever I'm feeling jazzy and really want to show off what's going on in my weird, weird, bubbly life. It's been a lot of places today. It's been a lot of fun. Leave your comments down below. And with that, I'm gonna go. So, yeah. Ooh. Whatever, okay. <laughs> Bye? Hey, guys, uh, I, I think if you got this far in the video, then you deserve to know that deodorant from this morning, that Schmitz, awesome. It's great. Nothing. There's nothing there out of three layers. That's incredible. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Check it out, I guess, at Walmart where it's cheap.